We're now joined by Steph Red, a live coach via Skype to share her thoughts on this. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Hi, thank you. Can you share how you and your family are coping with this stay-at-home order? Let's start from there. Okay, so it's actually been a very interesting one. Very, very interesting. It's been a bonding time. A lot of bonding. Uh, husband and I always getting to understand and learn more about each other. It's been it's been fantastic, as a matter of fact. I I will not complain. In the lockdown, I have had my 40th, and it was a fantastic time. Um, talk a lot of family. It's been beautiful, really. And it's been a lot of study and re-strategizing as well for self, for business, and for family. So it's been a fantastic time. You, you, you seem lucky, and we're happy to hear that. But there are some families who are struggling. In fact, the stay at home has vetted more conflicts than ever before. What are your thoughts about these stories? But have you heard any in the first instance? Uh, yes. So in the very first week, I think first thing was a lot of parents complaining already about having to handle the children. So it's been pretty much... Uh, the children are getting bored, the children are everywhere, they're destroying things, they're making noise. And then there's a lot of cabin fever between couples right now because it's pretty much been a situation of, um, okay, nine to five, going to work, there's always been, okay, whatever it is, I adjourn to later and I move away. But presently, you're in my face, I'm in your face, and what could have been adjourned before can't be adjourned any longer. So there's a lot of storming, there's a lot of um, bickering and face-to-face -face contact, which pretty much quite a lot of people cannot deal with. So what, what are some of the so strategies are that you have adopted that has worked for you that you think other couples can consider at this time? Okay, great. So in, in the middle of all of this, I believe it's, it's not just a time for... Many a times we're stuck in a cycle, right? And the cycle is either a cycle of work or cycle of hustling or trying to make ends meet or make something work for us. But it takes a disruption to make us stop and check. So this particular disruption being the COVID-19 is actually a great opportunity to check. All the race, the race that we've engaged ourselves with the running back and forth, why is it, what is it for, what are we after, what do we desire? So for couples, for example, this is a very good time to check, and I like to say, redefine the terms of us. So pretty much you've had, I talked about having to go to work and having to come back, having a reason to be apart, but presently, in the face of this, we can no longer adjourn, we need to reform. So in Bruce Tuckman's five developmental stage for organizations and teams, it talks about the forming, storming, norming, performing, and adjourning. While we use that a lot of times for organizations and for teams, it is a team is when two or more people come together to achieve a goal. So a couple is a team, a husband and wife are team, relationships are team. So what is working for us? So initially we formed and it was all exciting and all beautiful. And then by the time we're now together, we realize that, oh, there are some differences and now we're beginning to grind on each other so there's a lot of storming but what we do in the storming phase a lot of times is we look for things look for escape routes so work is an escape route business is an escape route we come back spend all the time outside come back and oh i'm tired i don't want to talk about it but right now you're not going anywhere you are on lockdown so the cabin fever is really really the temperature is high but this is the time where before, for you to be able to move from the storming to the norming phase, we need to reform. So since there's no more time to adjourn, we need to come together and redefine the terms. What, what used to excite us before that no longer excites us? What We need to specify expectations and specify desires for the team so that the team can begin to look from one lens as against from two different lenses. So come together and redefine the terms of engagement, specify your expectations with a goal in mind looking forward to okay this is where we are where do we want to desire where do we desire to be i beg your pardon so for every time you feel anger for every time you feel irritation for every time you feel uncomfortable you want to stop and ask why do i feel exactly how i feel be able to specify define it because what you do not define you can't quite measure the cause you can't quite 
look for ways to make it work or make it better. So when you are able to, at the spot, stop your thoughts or stop, okay, I'm feeling this way, why exactly am I feeling this way? Be able to spot it so that you can deal with it. And then when you spot it, it's not just dealing with it. For you to be able to move past it, you have to have something that you are moving to. So you have to think of something, either think of how you want to feel or think of how you want to relate or think of what you want to become. That is what will help you to move from where you are to where you desire to be. So it's the goal. You always have to have a goal in mind for the marriage, for the relationship, for the children. So this is a good time to understand your children dynamics, understand the what makes them who they are children are different begin to understand their uniqueness and how to deal with them individually and most importantly how to form and norm better so that you can right. perform as a team thank you so much for joining us steph thank you